so in this lecture will be again in two parts. In the first part, I will uh, demonstrate uh, the BMOS transistor, giving you examples about it and how we combine it in uh, with, with in circuit with uh, with NMOS transistor and get some uh, useful applications for it. And in the second part, we're gonna introduce uh, the main application for transistors in general and our candidate here in the most transistor in amplifiers. Okay, so uh, let's start here. Here is the structure of uh, B channel MOSFET. Okay, so it is the opposite of the N MOSFET. So in, in MOSFET, we mean we will create uh, an N channel between. Uh, two N regions, the drain and the source, out of the B substrate, B type substrate. Here it's uh, the opposite. We have N substrate, N type substrate. Okay. And we have now B regions, the drain and the source are B, B type. Okay. So how to create, uh, you know, a channel here? Again, we have a capacitor, we have a metal here. And we have our oxide, which is insulator. But well, this capacitor is a little bit different because uh, capacitors usually metal insulators and metal or conductor insulator conductor. But this guy is metal insulator than uh, another type of conductor, which is you know uh, semiconductor. That's why it's called metal oxide semiconductor. Okay, so uh, in any MOSFET to attract the you know uh, or rebel the holes of the B substrate the majority carriers and attract electrons from both the drain and source we bought both the voltage because we want to attract electrons now we want to attract both the charges so we should put here on the gate we should put negative voltage, okay? So for example, if we put a battery, for example, like this, E, this is zero in the booster terminal, then this is, will be minus E. So this will uh, rebel, you know, the most ions leaving behind, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, both uh, negative ions of, uh, or negative, you know, uh, electrons of the substrate leaving behind positive ions. which are the donor atoms like phosphorus, okay? And as we increase E until E equal to V threshold, again, there is a V threshold, but this V threshold is, is, is for B type. Then uh, holes from uh, both drain and source will gather in the region underneath the silicon dioxide. So at V uh, gate equal to minus V threshold in the voltage of Z point, Z terminal minus V threshold, you know. So holes, which are positive charges, from both drain and the source gazers uh, in the channel or, you know, between both regions under the gate. This creates P channel, a B type region. So this region here is a B type. After the inversion, after the strong inversion, when Vg equal to minus V threshold. Good. Now there is a capability for a current to flow from the source to drain. Again, 
just like uh, in most transistor, the current flows. So the electrons in the in most transistor were, were, were flowing from the source to drain. But the conventional current direction is from is opposite to electrons, so it was from drain to source. But remember, the basic uh, it charges in our in MOS were flowing from source to drain. That's why we call it source. And that's why we call the drain drain. Here is the same. Now, but the, uh, the carriers are different. The current here are holes. So holes now, if you put uh, FVS D is larger than zero, I mean, the voltage on the source is larger than the voltage on the drain opposite to the, in the MOS. Holes will flow from source to the drain. So holes will move in that direction. Hole current. And fortunately, whole current is, you know, in the same direction of the conventional current. So in both cases, uh, uh, the charges will move from source to drain. But in the most case, electrons are moving from source to drain. That's why the current is opposite. The direction of the current is opposite. And here, you know, uh, since it's holes, again, flowing from source to drain. So the, the conventional current direction is, you know, same as the uh, charge current direction. So when uh, V gate equal to, or my, uh, larger than equal to minus V threshold, okay, I'm oh, sorry, less than. So yeah, let's make it, you know, as uh, absolutes, you know? So for example, if, minus, if, if V threshold is minus one, then at uh, minus 1.5, minus two, minus three, you know, we, we will have a channel and we will have conduction, okay? Uh, but of course, mathematically, minus 1.5 is less than minus one. So in just to, you know, to avoid such confusion, we're gonna make it absolute like this. So minus one, minus 1.5 absolute is larger than minus one absolute, which is 1.5 larger than one, okay? So, when V gate as absolute is larger than minus V threshold as absolute, then and uh, V S is larger than V D, then a current, so holes will flow from source to drain. That's why we call source source and field to drain drain. Okay. So basically the same operation of NMOS, except that uh, the factors here are, you know, opposite. So we were talking about VDS in, v in, uh, in NMOS. Here we are talking about VSD. We were talking about VGS. Here we will talk about VSG. So we're gonna go back here and mark every VG as VSG. We relate everything, either in the MOS or VMOS, to the source. Okay, so again, when we have VSG as a magnitude greater than or equal to uh, minus V threshold as a magnitude, we will have a V channel. We could convert. Uh, the N, you know, uh, part of the substrate under the gate into a B uh, type, you know, region, which is a channel. We call it a channel. Then we create BMOS. And then if there is uh, a voltage on the source larger than the voltage on the drain, then we will have a current flowing from the source to drain or VSD larger than zero. Okay. So we are expecting also same characteristics, except that, uh, you know, we will flip S, G, G to S, you know, uh, S, D, S will be S, D, and so on. So let's draw the characteristics. So,
we have here ID. And here VSD. If we assume this is VSG1, if we increase VSG1 to VSG2, we'll have another curve. where VSG2 is larger than VSG1. If we increase more, we will get another curve, VSG3, if VSG3 larger than VSG2 and 1, so on. And again, we have two regions, or three regions, we can say. So, we have here VSD set 1, this is VSD set two. This is VSD set three. This region is called saturation. Again, just like in the most. And before uh, VSD set, this is called linear. And again, why is he called cleaner? Because in the beginning, usually the in the beginning, just far beginning, near zero, the relation is almost linear. Then it bends as we increase more VSD in that case. So, same uh, characteristics. Number one, when VSD less than VSD set which is VSG minus V threshold. And we will not forget this. We will put all the time a magnitude over V threshold because this number usually in the data sheet comes as negative number. Okay. So with this condition, we are working in the linear region. And the ID will be equal to KB, not KN, KB, not KN. Okay, although it's the same, you know, uh, same uh, concept. And between a bracket, VSG minus V, again, just put this V threshold. I know it's hectic, but just to avoid any 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 uh, confusion, also not, not square here. Then VSD minus half VSD square. Okay. And number two, when VSD exceed VSD set, which is again VSG minus V threshold V, we're gonna work in the saturation region in which the current is independent of VSD, it's constant. And in the saturation region, ID, is equal to F KB VSG minus V threshold B square. As you see, the equation doesn't have VSD. So it's independent of VSD. Okay, that's why it's constant, as long as VSG is constant. Okay, and again, when VSG is less than V threshold B, the transistor will be off, means ID is equal to zero. And if we exceed V threshold B, then as the magnitude, then we, the, the transistor term is on. On might be linear, might be saturation, based on the relation between VSD and uh, VSG minus V threshold. Okay, so let's apply this into examples and see how we can manage that. 